let's get started. Hello and welcome to boot camp. We get 30 minutes together today. We are going to feature a compound move, a cardio move, and a core move in each block. Um, compound meaning you're just doing like two muscle groups at one or at one time or more than that, you'll see. Um, the, our interval that we're working with is 45 seconds. So that will not change. We have the three moves in one block and we get to repeat them. Uh, if you're new to exercise, please always consult your physician before starting. Take different options that serve your body. Okay, I'm here to be here as a guide. Um, most importantly, have fun, clear your space so you don't have any obstacles in the way. And let's get started. So we're gonna start with that warm up. Feel free to play music if you'd like on your own. Here we go. Jog it in place. We can start with that march. Sometimes that morning body is a little bit different from the evening body. It just depends on when you're doing this workout. Good. From here, you're gonna open and close those arms, stretch the chest, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Inhaling through that nose, out through that mouth. Take those arms out to the side, find some arm circles. We'll work those shoulders today. So let's get them primed and ready to go. Other direction. Good. Then from here, we're gonna work those butt kicks. You can just bring your arms back at your side. Butt kicks, heels looped. Again, you can always step tap here as well. Another great option. We've gotten that tall spine, goes away from those ears. We're gonna start to work that cross country ski arms and legs. Three. Two, one. You're right here, switching side to side. You can step it back like so. Again, what do you need this morning for this day? Come on, inhale, exhale. And now you're gonna start to bring those legs forward into knee pulls right here. So you pull, pull, inhale, reach and exhale, pull down. I really try to focus on bringing my elbows to my side. Just really engage the back muscles there. Good, a few more here. Four, three, two, one. From here, jump over in place. You can do a little side to side hop. Getting those calves warming up. You're also warming up those biceps here, right? At that 90 degrees. Keep going. We got jumping jacks next. Four, three, two, Jump jack, overhead and down at your side. Great movement here. Or that step tap side to side. Get through that blood flow and start to get a little warmer. Good. More, we're gonna do a lateral hop of the side body reach. We're gonna go this way first. Four, three, two, one. So I'm gonna hop over, lateral reach. So just close things down just slightly. Lateral reach, hop over, side body stretch. Good, one more. There you go, one more. Good, we're continuing with that reach with a squat reach. So go squat, reach overhead. Squat, I even gonna tap my toe just slightly and then lift my heel the other leg. Squat and reach, squat and reach. There you go, get that form down with that squat because we got it in that first set. Squat, reach. Squat, reach, pulse in the squat, pulse, pulse. Pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Stand tall. Let's take those nice little stretches for the back of the legs here. There you go. Two more. So squats, upright rows, our first one. Last two here. Good. From here, just open up the chest, step back. Arms come overhead. Stretch out the chest. Other side. Reach. One more each side. Overhead. Good. You're going to pick up your moderate weights here or to heavy you can try here. Squat to upright row in our first one. We're going to get right into it. 45 second interval. Do your best. Let's go. So we squat, upright row. Inhale lower. Exhale up. Okay. How do you change the move? If you need to get a little less, you go with less weight or less range of motion. Okay. If you want more, you go deeper in that squat to keep that form, and then you do a little bit heavier weights. Okay, so again, squeeze those shoulder blades, longer interval. Okay, so we get to do all these moves for 45 seconds. Cardio is going to follow this one. Get about 10 seconds in between each move. Okay. Inhale, exhale, pull up. Two more seconds here. Three, 
two, one. Set your weights down. Your cardio move is going to be a cross, cross, squat, jump. Okay, so you have core, opposite elbow to me. Ready? Let's try it. Cross, cross, squat, jump, soft landing, come up. Cross, cross, cross squat, jump. Cross, cross, squat, jump. You got it. Pull, pull. Or you take the jump out of it. Cross, cross, squat, and calf raise. <laughs> Great. This first round, you certainly are learning those moves for the first couple of reps. And then put your best foot forward. Put your effort in. Come on right here. Cross, cross, squat. 10 seconds. Make your core. Jump, cross, cross, squat, jump, rest. Good. From here, your core move, you're going to come down to the mat. Weighted or not, you decide. Side plank, hip dips. Ready? Here we go. Down and up. Down and up. Shoulder right over those elbows. You could also press the weight overhead if you'd like and do your dips. Keep everything stacked. You're going to take that option. So wrist right over shoulder, shoulder over elbow. <sighs> Working those obliques. Okay. Without the weight, you can be right here. Also, longer lever, harder. Legs staggered. Harder yet, legs stacked. Harder because it's, it's more of that balance challenge. Your core stability to keep the hips stacked. 10 seconds. Inhale, exhale, and then we get to repeat those three. Go in three, two, one. Nice job. Remember which side plank you did. Okay, going into that upright row. And until you need to pick up those weights, squats upright row. Make sure your space is clear. Ready? Here we go. We're going a little bit more wider squat upright row. Okay, if it serves you better to be here, you certainly can. I just like where the weights can come in between my legs there. Then lower, exhale up. Get those elbows nice and high. Weight should be just slightly below those elbows if you can. I keep my palms facing my chest. Inhale, exhale up. Pound, pound, move. Your legs, your glutes, your thighs are working. And then your upper back is working here, the shoulders, by pulling up in the upright row. Two more. Come on, heart rate's up. A lot of the muscles are engaged there. We get to go back to cardio. Three, two, one. Good job. Those weights down. Cross, cross, squat, jump. Let's get some height. Let's put some good effort into it. Let's go. And here we go. Cross, cross, squat, jump, soft landing. Cross, cross, squat, jump. Other thing I'm looking for is that when you land, your knees are in line with your toes. Cross, cross, squat, jump, cross, cross, squat, jump, soft landing. Let's go. Exhale, quick, quick. Now as we move on, what you can do is knowing you're gonna repeat your cardio, if you like to count your reps, you can see how you get the first round, and then try to match or beat it. That way you're in competition with yourself, see if you can improve, maybe just by one. Come on, five seconds, and rest. All right, one other side plank. <clears throat> just up, now be your first block. Completed already. Okay, let's go. Two, one, rise up to that challenge. Lower and lift. I like to start on the knee. See where I'm at on this side. Just because I get to do it on my toes or legs, that other side doesn't mean it'll be the same case for this side. So just honor that. It's totally normal. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Or again, maybe you want a little bit longer lever with that weight pressed to the sky. Your joint stacked. Good. If the hip that doesn't serve you, you can also just hold the side plank too. If you're at that place right now, okay? Maybe today that feels better to you. And I want you to honor that. Show up for yourself. Listen to your body. Final seconds and rest. Nice job. All right, that was your first block. So, the idea of how class is going to go. We get three more blocks. So, I want to give you that how much more is to come, okay? Here's the move that is going to look kind of complicated and crazy, but you'll get to it. You'll get used to it. So bicep curl, 
top arm swivel. Let's go left arm on top. Row, left leg goes back and lunge, okay? I'll explain the cardio moves, but I want to do this together. So left arm is going to cross after the bicep curl. Here we try it. So curl, left arm crosses on top. High row, left leg lunges. Yep, curl. So you're gonna stick to that same side the entire 45 seconds. Left leg lunges back. Bicep curl, left arm on top. Row, and lunge, so from the side. Curl, left arm on top. I'm gonna do it a little bit different side than you because I'm hearing you, but I'm just gonna show you from the side. Curl, cross. Now this is a lot of core engagement when you come into that cross. Be really mindful to protect your low back. You got 10 seconds, bicep curl, cross, pull, weight down, lunge. Three, two, one, rest. Weights down, we got alley shuffles. Four, three, two, one, two power lunges, okay? Yes, you can. Two, one, here we go. Four, three, two, one, lunge, lunge. Four, three, two, one, lunge. If the lunges aren't for you, you can do four, three, two, one, squat, hop, hop, another variation, okay? Lunge, lunge. Four, three, two, one, or step back, hop, step back, okay? Four, three, two, one, lunge. Where is that alignment? Knee right over those ankles. Super important, and especially in that power lunge. Together, four, three, two, one. If you want to stick with alley shuffles, you certainly can, okay? You're under 10 seconds, almost there. Let's go. Three, two, one. Woo! Yep. All right, we're on our side again. Pick a side. This time, you're doing lying V crunches. So I always have my top, bottom leg extended, top leg here. Longer lever, both legs straight, okay? Or bring both knees in with a crunch, or different option, you can do a top leg straight, keeping the bottom leg down, or you can bend it and crunch it. So it's like four different variations. What works best for you? Again, we're still working those obliques that we just worked in that last set. Inhale, lower with control. Exhale up. Doing great. Come on. Extend. Pull in. Under 10. All the way. Doing those different options. And rest. It's kind of fun. Okay. Back up top. This time the right arm crosses with that bicep curl. Transition, so you're gonna curl, right arm on top, <laughs> let's see it. So curl, right arm on top, row, right leg back. Yep, let's try it again. Bicep curl, cross, pull, stand, lunge. Together, curl, cross, row, arms down to your side, lunge. You can totally do it, okay? Mental fitness. You know, I like to add those different elements in there for you. That's why I choose to do a little bit more complicated moves with a longer interval time. So you get time to catch on to it and get a couple more extra reps. 10 seconds. Down, one more bicep curl and maybe an extra cross. Done, nice job. All right, back to the side. All the shuffles with or without the power lunges, or you can add that squat instead of the power lunges. What do you need? Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Low, low. Four, three. Zip up those inner thighs, okay? Four, three, two, one. This is where you can set that intention. But even though I'm not holding an isometric hold in between my thighs, I'm like thinking about squeezing them towards the midline. So when you do switch jump, there's a lot of that going on. And then low. Well, I'm gonna go slower this one. You go to your pace. Find a different option. And you can step back. Step back. 10 seconds of work. Four, three, two, one. Low, low. How many more can you get in? Low, low. Have one more. Four, three, two, one. Low, low. Nice job. Out that nose. Out to that mouth. 10. If you need to, come in two. Knee crunches. Side line. I'm almost like, if I think about if I'm wearing jeans, like you're almost a little bit on your jean pocket just slightly. 
your sideline position. Long lever with the straight legs. How do you change it? Bend those knees, shorter lever. Or again, you always have one leg option, straight leg or knee pull. Exhale with the effort to lift. Inhale lower. 15 seconds to go, and then we get a new block. And we're already halfway through our workout, right? Come on, I promised you four blocks. You're just about to finish that second one. Finish it strong, I need you to keep going. Keep going, keep going, and rest. Nice job. All right, recover. Get the water. And uh, <laughs> guzzle it down, okay? From here, this is where the bridge or bicycle comes in. We've done bridge and tricep extensions. I'm gonna start there. So you're here, you can have the glutes down and then the glutes lifted as you extend the arms. You can do it the opposite way, bring up and down. I kind of like it the other way, but you do you. Or you're here, you're gonna alternate your tricep extension with a bicycle, adding core. Ready, here we go. So I'm gonna show this one. Bicycle crunches with alternating tricep extensions. It's different. You got it. There's a lot to think about in terms of keeping your low back pressed into the floor. You can shorten your range of motion with the legs, keeping them bent. Otherwise, once again, you can be in that tricep extension bridge. We're bringing both moves to you today. You're just going to determine which one feels better for you. Side to side. Keep pressing that low back into the mat. If you're taking the bicycle option, you can go slower with that bicycle too. So it's opposite hand and foot. So my one elbow bends, my other leg extends. Relax. Start that one back. All right. Pop up. Fast feet. When I say right, you turn to the right like a quick go. Okay, let's go. Right. Back to feet. Left. Quick. Back. Stay low. Right. Quick, feet, left, back to feet, left, feet, Woo! right, right, come on, keep moving, I know our legs are tired at this point, left, quick, 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 here under 10, left, right, and rest. Okay, from here, weighted sit up, half circle. So when you do this, you'll have weight at your chest. You come up, it's like a little bit of a hover, okay? Let's go. So we're going in one direction. You're hovering around, keeping some tension there on that core. You can keep it a shorter crunch range of motion, or you're coming up. You, if you want and feel comfortable, you can almost reach that weight just above those knees. Be mindful. We're going to take the weight away from the body. I like it a little closer in on myself. Rotate opposite direction. Good. Lower and up. Inhale, till up. They're still getting those obliques. Still stick them in there. Okay. With control, I'm to the left. Lower down then. Half circle. And rest. Stay here on the mat. Bridge, try some extension. Or again, you can try that bicycle and try some extension. Take the bicycle, legs start at 90 degrees. Let's go. Opposite hand and foot or arm and foot. So I bend the elbow, extend the leg. Very long lever there. Okay, so be mindful. Or keep the knee more bent as you extend. Go slower or go quicker. Right here. Keep pressing that low back into that mat. You can do this. Or again. Got that bridge option. You're lifting the boots as you extend the weight. Feeling. What do you need? You're about 10 seconds left in this set. Hit that 90 degrees in those elbows. Don't forget about those triceps. Last seconds. Rest. Nice job. Hop on up. You can get there. Fast feet. 180. Little hops. Kind of like your. Snowboard, yeah, I think snowboard. Let's go. Eight. Come on, come on, come on. Right. 
Stay low. Right. Right. Yep. Good. Left. Right. Left. Dig deep. Woo. Keep moving. Left. Right. Feet. Yes. Left. Woo. Feet and rest. Woo. Okay. Here we go. Sit up. Half circle. Keep crushing it, guys. You're doing awesome. Two, one. Here we go. Keep it at your chest. So I kind of lean over to one side as I come up. And I lean over to the other as I come down. Hard to control that momentum, right? Roll it here. And head lower. Exhale up. And rotate opposite direction. Down. Come up the opposite way. You can do it. That core string. We're almost there. 10 seconds to go. Then we just get one more. Get to do one more block. Almost there. Three, two, one. Awesome job. All right. Our last strength move is going to be unilateral. Okay. So you're going to go lateral lunge. You also like a little bit of a nice little bicep curl there. Press. Okay. Lateral lunge. Curl up and press. Okay, you can take that like shorter steps. Then your um, your cardio is going to be lateral move as well. But I'll, I'll switch here. Okay. Lateral lunge, knee press. Ready? Let's go. Lateral lunge. Curl press. Lateral lunge. Curl press. It's almost like a little bit of a clean. You reach down, clean it up, and press. Now, how do you take it slower? Here, and then you press. Lateral lunge, woo, balance, reach, curl, press. Or one fluid motion. Yep. Put that foot down. You lift it up. Challenging that core strength. Remember which side you're going to first. Because we'll get the other side when we come back to it. Almost there. Lateral lunge, curl, press. Five seconds. Lateral lunge, curl, press. Nice job. Okay, from here, we're gonna go lateral hop, lunge, knee drive, lateral hop, lunge, knee drive. Ready? Let's go. Lateral hop, go back lunge, knee drive, hop over, lateral lunge, hop. So very similar movement pattern from what you just did. We're alternating here. Use that core strength. You can stay more lifted, stay here, lunge up, hop over, lunge. Up. Doing great. Use your arms. Down. Up. Up over. Lunge. Up. Almost there. Ten seconds to go. Three count. Final. Three, two, one. Nice job. From here, you're going to go spider. Lunge your Spider Man like a uh, knee pull, okay? Then you're gonna go three, two, hold the knee, and pull out to the side. Okay, let's try. So, knee pull, that, like that, just knee pull, first knee in. One, two, three, hold the other knee, knee pull out to the side. One, two, three. If you want an extra challenge, you can have a little push up there. Three, two, hold the knee, pull out to the side. Pull, two, three, hold, out, pull with that knee. Three, two, one, knee pull. If that's too complicated <laughs> this morning, too much to think about. You can just work those knee pulls side to side in that plank. Get a little cardio with a mountain climber. Three, two, hold. Pull out to the side. Three, two, one, press. Woo! That was a tough one, especially after doing that lunge to press. But we get to do the other side. All right, we're just over. You might as well work, okay? Yes, you can. Three minutes left. Let's go. Our lunge and press. Low. Pull up and press. So from this angle, so I'm 
Lunging here, knee pull, press to the sky. Lateral lunge, send your glutes back behind you, press. Lateral lunge, knee pull, press. Or break it down a little bit slower. Lateral lunge, clean it, press, knee pull. 15 seconds left in this compound move. Lower body with the inner thighs, lateral lunge, curl and press. Feel that heart rate up even when you're doing these moves because so many things are happening in your body. Rest. Nice job. All right. That lateral hop. Hop over. Tap. Knee up. Or really get low in that lunge if you want a little extra. Ready? Let's go. Lateral hop. Lunge. Knee drive. Hop over. Find your balance. Lunge. Knee drive. Good. Got it. Could you break it down? And just do some high knee pull each side. You can do that in place. Okay? Do lateral hops this whole time. What do you need? Okay? Maybe you go faster knowing you have 15 seconds left. Your recovery waits for you. You just have one more move to finish out your workout. Come on. Put in that effort right here. Two. Um, nice job. Okay. Final move. Challenge for that core. Again, the leg that goes out to the knee pulls in first. Three, two, one. And you hold it. Ready? Let's go. Knee pull. Three, two, one. Hold on the other side. Pull that knee out to the side. Pull back in. Three, two, one. Knee pull. Three, two, one. Right there. <laughs> Three, two, one. Pull. In. Maybe it's four, right? Make sure you're alternating as a goal. Exhale. Woo! Pull to the side. Or again, work those knee pulls side to side. Maybe that works better for you right now. Guess what? Regardless, you got 10 seconds. Put on that work right here to finish. Woo! All there. Three, two, one. Done. Nice effort. Cool down. Oh, I hope that went fast for you. Okay. Hips to the uh, heels. Okay. Inhale. Exhale. We work those obliques. Let's take that side body stretch just over to one side. Still in that child's pose here. Go to your degree of that stretch. Good. Bring it to your center all the way over to the other side. Effort. From here, you're going to pull yourself into that tabletop position. Shoulders over wrist, hips over knees. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the knees. Exhale, round to that spine, look towards that belly button. Spin it again. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, round, pull your belly button to your spine. Find neutral position. One leg comes forward. Knee over the ankle. Low lunge. Light tuck of the pelvis. Shift your weight forward. Try not to drop into it. Okay, from here. Let's take that side body stretch again. We'll open up the front part of that hip. We did do triceps. So we're going to stay right here. We're going to take, bend that elbow, give yourself a little pat on the back. Again, that's really opening up that front side of the body, which should feel amazing. Send your hips back behind you. Hamstring stretch. Stay more lifted here if you want. You can reach for the toe. You know, just balance a little bit. <laughs> Inhale, exhale, bring it back to that bent knee, and then just transfer your weight back, other side. So first, slight tuck of the pelvis, shift forward, oblique stretch, pull away from the ear. Stay upright a little bit here, bend that elbow, take that tricep extension, maybe pressing the hips forward a little bit more to get the added stretch for the hip flexor. Good. From here, send your glutes back behind you. Hamstring stretch. Inhale to that nose, out to that mouth. Good. Bring it back. Bend the knee. This time, you're going to come into a forward fold. If your heart rate's still coming down, you can stay a little more lifted in this fold just to still get the hamstrings. So forward fold, you're going to take a twist. One arm comes down, the other arm comes up to the sky. You can even set that hand to your low back. Just stretches out that shoulder a little bit. 
Good. Bring it down. We'll go over to the other side. Find your twist. Or again, we got that fast fire into action. Good. Reach back to the sky. If you have that bind, bring the hands down. Hands come back behind the back. Interlace. A little chest expansion. Shake your head yes or no. Using your core strength, roll it up. One vertebrae at a time. Quad stretch. We're right here. Inhale, exhale. We'll make it quick so we get that other side. Relax, release, other side. Inner thighs together. How do you feel? I feel good. I got that energy, right? Awesome job. Let's take a breath. Inhale, reach up. Nice and big. And exhale, release. Thanks again for joining me. Again, it's Jamie. I appreciate you. Hope you have a great day. And we'll see you next time.